Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and today we're taking a look at the Relano. This is the PLV-C80. It'll cost you about 90 bucks at the time of the recording of this video. And I did buy this with my own money, so these are going to be my own brutal and honest opinions as always. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. My own brutal and honest opinions as always. This is new to me. Okay, now inside the box, you're gonna get your typical instructions. You're going to get a box of stuff and you're going to get the light itself with a dish. Let's go ahead and flip this upside down. There we go. And yes, 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 inside we do get a new uh, reflector here, which is very, very, very nice. That new style. You do get a little piece of weak foam there, and you do get the light itself. Inside the accessory box, you are going to get this little handle, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Gonna get the power cord. And the power brick, and that is it. Okay, so let's take a look at construction here. Now, uh, it does feel like it is metal. There's a little bit of plastic here near the Bowens mount. You do get a very cheap plastic cup here, and the release knob is right there. And now there is no glass over this COB, so again, do not use it outside. Uh, now, you do get quite a bit of tilt here, but it is, again, a ratchet system. It is not a disc system, so you are going to have a hard time getting this right exactly where you want it. Although, there seems to be a lot of different notches in here, uh, so that doesn't seem to be so much of a problem. Uh, it seems like they've really filled it out. Uh, I can see in here that they've really filled this out, so uh, that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Now, yes, you can power it by two Sony MPF batteries. It is a barrel plug here. You do get a nice metal yoke. The knobs feel good. You can mount it this way or that way, which is very cool. You get a Bowens mount here, and you do get some nice clicky, rolly buttons here. They are no frills, and you do get a screen here. Uh, plenty of ventilation. Uh, all in all, not bad. Not so let's talk about this handle. This handle, super cheap. They obviously had a whole bunch of these in stock. And what they did was they screwed on this piece onto the quarter 20. Uh, there's a quarter 20 under here. They probably screwed this on with some glue and then they poured a whole bunch of glue into the wheel so that you can't move the wheel and take this off. Uh, I'm sure with a little bit of work, I probably could get this moving again and I could probably get this to come off and on, which would actually be a nice feature. Um, but they definitely did have a whole bunch of these in stock and just adapted them because uh, this is just <laughs> glued tight. Um, so there you go. There you have it. Uh, no frills handle. Now let's go ahead and slap in some Sony NPFs and I'll show you right away. Uh, the lock is pretty good. They're not gonna come out, which is very, very cool. And we hold the power button and it goes on and there we go. And there is your wattage right there. And your voltage. Okay, so here we are with the dish on and as you can see, this has a fairly nice cutoff. Uh, it is pretty good on the sides. It is not, uh, it seems like there's a little bit of like green shadowing uh, there, but not very much. Uh, so it is a nice cutoff, nice even beam, uh, pretty good. There's a little bit of fall off. Now let's go ahead and take off the dish and we'll check it is nice and bright. And again, getting a little bit of a, a ring, a little bit of a double shadowing, uh, but not bad. Not bad at all. It does look a bit green to my eye, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's talk about the controls here. You get your channel, your battery indicator. Right now, this is plugged in. You get your brightness and you get your temperature in Celsius here. So there you go. Um, and this all goes all the way down to 10%. And you see it has like a really nice fade down uh, when you go fast. However, when you go slow, you will see that this thing is pretty flickery, uh, pretty much bounces down. It is not very smooth. Uh, so there you go. 
there you have it. And of course you can press the channel button and change the channel. We'll leave this at, I believe channel one, which is fine. And there you go. And that's pretty much it. This is a daylight only light. Okay, pros and cons time now. Let's start off with the cons. Now there is no glass over the COB, so do not use this outside. Uh, if bugs pop onto this, they can burn onto your cob and your light is ruined. Uh, it does have this very strange uh, quick release knob. It is very, very, very short. It feels okay. Uh, it is fine. It is not the greatest thing in the world. And the other thing is of course, uh, the other negative, of course, is this mount, which actually isn't that bad. But again, it is a ratchet system. It is not a disc system, but it feels like there's a lot of notches in there. So pointing this exactly where I want it uh, is not a huge problem. Uh, it looks like it works fairly well. The protecting, protection cup it comes with is very thin and cheap. And I do believe that is pretty much it for the negatives. Uh, this thing is pretty decent. Uh, the release uh, feels cheap, but it is pretty good. And next, let's talk about the handle here. This looks like they had these in stock and they basically screwed on this piece, glued this in, and then poured a whole, bu whole bunch of glue in here. I bet with some work, I could get this to turn again, unscrew this and use it for other things. Cause yes, there is probably most likely a quarter 20 underneath. Uh, this little mounting point there. But mounting this thing is pretty easy and that is going to lead me into the pros. One other con is this does seem to skew a little bit green and when you twist this, uh, you do lose the, um, the screen a little bit, but only at extreme angles. And when you turn this, you do get a, a little bit of weird shadowing. Uh, very, very, very small, not crazy. When you have the dish on and when you have the dish off, the, the edges are not uh, smooth, are not clean cut. Uh, that is just something to note. So let's talk about the pros here. You do have a lovely handle for Hollywooding this. If you do this and slap on a couple of the of Sony MPF batteries, you can run this thing at 10% to 100% fully on batteries. Uh, it does work well. The dish is fairly stable. There is a little bit of play in the dish. But when I Hollywood this, when I whip it back and forth, forth and up and down, uh, the only thing I hear is my hand uh, spinning inside the handle. So it's just my skin rubbing against the handle. So very, very nice. Uh, that works fairly well. Um, the yoke feels fantastic. It is made of all metal. The knobs are not cheap. So the knobs are actually quite nice and feel nice to my hands. The release here uh, is quite excellent. It's not going to pop out. So very, very, very cool. Now you do need to run this off two NPF batteries. It will not run off one, but again, you will get full power. The fan in this, uh, you will get full power with two batteries. The fan in this, super duper quiet. I had this running for 25 minutes. I, I barely heard it. Uh, so very, very, very cool. Uh, it runs very cool. Uh, the wattage, it almost runs on no wattage. It's very low wattage. Yes, 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 you do get a uh, barrel plug. So yes, you can use a V-mount battery with this if you wanted to. And uh, overall, the build quality is quite nice. Now you do get these clicky buttons, which again, I said they tend to fail, uh, but I don't know if these will fail. You get a very, very nice screen, even though at sharp angles it disappears, but it is nice. You get multiple channels to hook up a whole bunch of these. Uh, I guess there is an app. I do not review phone apps anymore, um, but there is most likely an app for this, uh, or you can maybe master slave it. I don't know. Again, I don't look at phone apps. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, very, very, very nice. Very solid for 90 bucks. If you're looking for something uh, that is budget friendly, something for interviews or something that uh, you just want for your home studio. Uh, this is not bad. Uh, this is actually pretty impressive. I've never actually heard of this brand, um, but very, very impressed being the first light I've ever uh, reviewed from Relan Relano. Relano? Relano? I don't know how you pronounce it. it sounds French. Uh, <laughs> there you go, but very, very, very nice. Uh, if you're on a budget, definitely uh, this is a nice light. Um, again, I don't have a spectrometer, so I can't tell you about how ac color accurate it is. My guess is um, it's probably okay. 
uh, but probably not the best. So that's it. Those are my thoughts, but I want to know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash the bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.